Alright, I think enough time has passed on the, uh, on the, uh, the whole start stream thing. It's, it's been like, yeah, it's been 13 minutes. Oh boy, that's a lot. Anyhow, how's it going? My name is Garrett, aka Slimefest, and welcome back to Zero Time Dilemma. This game is getting more deranged with every single fragment I collect. And let me just explain why. So basically, last time, we started out in D-Team. Or no, last time we started out with uh, Q-Team. And actually before that... <laughs> okay, this is all out of order. Uh, so the first thing we did was we went to the D-Team vote, and I voted for C-Team. Which subsequently rigged the vote and executed C-Team. I Because I'm pretty sure I have to see all of the executions to get the good ending, which is lovely. And then uh, after that, what I did was I went to here. I went to this story fragment. It's called Pop Off. And the way this works is that, um, oh, this just, okay. Basically, I solved the pod room with just, uh, with just Eric. And then uh, I found Mira's body just there. I don't know why, but Eric went nuts, grabbed a shotgun, and threatened to blow my head off if I didn't give him a proper answer. In which case, he actually did like six times. Which is not good. I said it was me, I said it was him, I said it was zero, said it was Q. I actually haven't said it was Mira, now come to think of it, but I don't think Mira did that to herself, right? Anyhow, yeah, so basically, shit got really messed up in here. In which case, Q got really messed up. Little kid. Um, so these guys, they got their heads exploded. Um, you know, these guys, she was dead. He shot him. And then we hopped over to Q-Team, in which we did the manufacturing room. And Q-Team, we actually got our first ending. As you can see here, the biohazard symbol. <laughs> you can probably guess where it's going when you see the infection symbol. And uh, that is because the first ending we got was actually the infection ending. In which case, uh, there was a bomb. Every member of Q team was behind it. Um, I tried helping them, but I blew up. So then I ran away. Uh, Sigma got his arms blown out, or his arms blown off, and his eyes stabbed out by a piece of debris. So while he was barely conscious, um, Phi ran over to a dying Mira, who proceeded to inject her with Radical Six, because Mira is a goddamn psycho. Um... Anyhow, then Diana decided that the lives of her two friends were more important than the six billion people outside of the shelter, and as such, Diana was the the sole reason, or like, not really the sole reason, but a pretty, pretty big reason for why the Radical Six outbreak happened, and she actually ended up leaving the message that we heard way on later in... Uh, Virtue's Last Reward, which I think is a really cool tie into the previous game. So yeah, now we know how Radical Six got started. Anyhow, so the plan for today is that last time we was a QD day, so now today it's going to be a CQ day. Does that sound good? Got it. So since we're not going to be playing with uh, D Team today, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rig the vote and execute them. Because why not? So, okay, so, yep, go to execution vote. And now let's get rid of the sole saviors of the human race. 
What? It's out of because you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of insane. Right, so vote D team. Boop. I'm kind of insane. Yeah. Your vote has been accepted. They're probably gonna be like, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> the plot thickens. Oh, of course Mira is like, yeah, that's fine. If Carlos voted for D-Team like he said he would in the note? Yeah. Maybe that was the result he was going for. Yeah, maybe. He wanted to kill the three in D-Team. I don't know. No. I'm a fucked up kid. Honestly, all three of us are fucked up. This whole team you is said weird. It earlier, right, Mira? The note Gab brought? It could have been a trap from C-Team. Yeah, Mira. Right. It totally could have that been that. Mean voting for D team can be justified. What does that mean? If it really was a trap, there still isn't a solid reason to go against what it says in the note. Then why the fuck did you tell me it was a trap? As long as Diana, <laughs> promise, we may be screwed anyway. Why did you tell me that? There's no way we can justify it by saying we voted this way in self-defense. Honestly, I'm not even listening to a word Mira says. Mira is a psycho. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well, as the next game will begin when you awake. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to... I can't skip this. That's great. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the premium. When you next great. break... Honestly, what I figured out is that the execution vote in the beginning really doesn't matter. Because you make the execution vote, but then everyone just dies anyways. You hop into all sorts of different fragments and everybody's just dead. It's fucked up. Anyhow. Let's see what's going on now. Diana? Oh, Diana. hey, Fi. Oh, crap, you guys got the bomb collars on. Fi, where are we? I think it's the healing room. Oh, you guys are in the healing hey, room. Open this door. What is this collar? I don't know. No idea. Maybe if you severed your heads, you'll Zero be able to get the, uh... Them on us. <laughs> if you cut off your heads, Let's you might be able off. to get the bomb off in time. Can't. There's no hole for a key. But there must be a way. Wait, then how'd you get it on in the first place? For the voting results. Yeah, this is probably Zero fucked up. Cause D team is the the whole reason that humanity's gonna be saved. So we just We just fucked them. No. Damn it! Why? What's Q team thinking? Sorry about that. If they were going to choose us, then there was no point in sending Gab. That's true, but... There has to be a trick to this game. Yeah, maybe. Something nonsensical. Illogical, maybe. Now try hard. Wasn't you decided to kill all of them? Well, it was both of them. Would you stop talking nonsense? Zero! Won't get away with this. I was about to say, Diana did not sound that Sigma, crazy. Let's jump. What? What? <laughs> hey, Fi, what does that mean? You're pretty good with Latin. Uh oh. No! Ouch. Well, it's a good thing Sigma and Fi got out of there. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just it's just the way that Fi was like, Sigma, let's jump, and Sigma's just like, what? <laughs> He's like, he, even he sounded kind of confused by that. He's like, wait, we could jump? He kind of just completely forgot that he has the ability to just skip fate like that, didn't he? Anyhow, all right, so what do we want to do? Let's try and plan this out because, ooh, there's a new Q fragment. Oh, this is the fragment after, um, I recognize this weird looking uh, pattern. This is the fragment after Mira kills everybody. 
Ooh, sick! Okay, so... I'm gonna be doing that, I guess, at a later date, but... Uh, for now, let's just hop into C-Team. So basically, what do we want to do? Because there's some fragments, there's the chainsaw. That looks like a bigger one. There's the something room? I don't know what that is. This looks like a normal sized one. And then this is the rec room. The rec room looks like a long one. Looks like a very long one. And then over here, we obviously have the four squid box, which we can't actually go into yet. And then uh, we have Q holding a crossbow. Um, You know what? Let's just leave it up to chance. Am I right? So here's what I'm gonna do, actually. I'm going to, I'm going to open up Google Chrome. Or actually, no, wait, which one do I wanna do? Let's think about that. I feel like I should save the chainsaw for a later one, but the thing is we know what happens in the chainsaw room. Uh, here, you know what? You know what, actually, it might be cool if I did uh, I did this room, and then we did crossbow. Alright, does that sound good? Got it. Uh, let's hop into it. Poison! That's great. Oh, hi, Junpei. <laughs> Junpei's just sorry. sitting over here getting highest balls. I guess we were locked in here while we were unconscious. Yep. Huh? Hello? It opened. Why do you so sound so startled by that? We weren't locked in. <laughs> Why are we here then? I don't know. We just woke up here. Hmm. 1810. Five and a half hours after the vote. Hi. Um, Zero. fine. I don't want to hear your stories. Was it because she went the long, the wrong way? Oh. Well, that blows. That's not good. Have two children? Jesus Christ. We moved to several years later. New DNA analysis results proved that the man's claims were true. Oh. He was falsely convicted. That's fucked. The true culprit remains at large. Their identity is still unknown. Life is simply unfair. Why do you keep the saying truth. that? You always say life is simply Pointless unfair. Stories. We were injected with poison, weren't we? What? You injected us with what? The, the six of you. Six. What do you mean six? Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> what do you mean the six of us? Wait, who's the other three? We've been poisoned? I feel fine. I don't feel different, but I doubt he was lying to us just then. I mean, hey, if there's a creepy guy over the uh to finding this antidote. I didn't yeah. make it to today just to end like this. I need to do what I'm here to do. I can't die. You're right. I need to propose Let's to my girl. All do this together. Alrighty. We'll find the way to stay alive. Hell yeah, look at this. That looks awesome. Anyhow, happy to catch up with C-Team, but now we're all injected with a poison and we're gonna die if we can't get out of this room in 90 minutes. Ain't that lovely? I gotta say, this is a pretty cruddy infirmary. Uh, is that a syringe? Time to take your medicine, Junpei. If only you'd be wearing a lab coat when you said that. Hey guys, here's the good news. Uh, now, if we just stick ourselves a bunch of times with a syringe, we can eventually draw the poison out of our bodies. Unfortunately, we'd probably lose all of our blood too, but it's okay because uh, we may 
probably will not be alive, but hey, just that small chance that we can't find an antidote. Anyway, there's something right here too. This looks like a uh, toothpaste. This is some kind of barcode reader. That means we'll probably have to use it somewhere. Use it on the syringe. Okay. It was worth a shot. <laughs> this is, um, what is it called? It's one of those brain scan machines. Anything behind the poster? Nope, not even a hole. Know him by the sign. Uh, what is this? I think this is a power box. I think so too, but ugh, shut tight on that pickle jar. Let's leave it alone. We might get shocked if we're not careful. Plant. The plant looks pretty dead. Doesn't seem to be anything hidden in here. We should keep searching. There's a stethoscope right here. We used to play around with one of those when we were kids. Don't you dare put that on me, Junpei. Uh... Combine. Combine. Nope. <laughs> it's worth a shot. It's a white lab coat. Hey, Akane? It's that male fantasy, right? I'm not putting that thing on unless I need to. Oh, so fast. Ruining a guy's dream. Damn, I didn't know Junpei was in the doctors. The fuck? <laughs> Anyways, what's over here? It's locked. We need the combination to open it. Oh, that's lovely. There's five of them. Anyhow, there's something over here, too. This looks like it's the bottle with the antidotes. Looks like this canister is something inside, but what's in it? It's luminol spray. Luminol reacts to the hemoglobulin in blood. It's used to investigate crime scenes, kind of like when a certain clone killed a certain old lady that may or might not be standing right next to me right now. Maybe we could use it here. All right, maybe spray it on this. I just have a weird feeling. No reaction here. Well, of course there's no reaction. It needs to be dark enough. Is there a light switch anywhere? What about here? No reaction here. Spray. Oh, hey, something's appearing. Something's written on the locker with blood. Well, that's not scary at all. All right, five, two, eight. Go me! Okay, and it's unlocked. This has absolutely nothing except for a shelf. 693. Since we've been on the bottom of the locker, the combination must be 693. Yes, I know that. Boop. What? Oh, I did 396. Oh, I'm a dummy. Okay. That was embarrassing. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. It's unlocked. Good job, Carlos. Nothing in there. Okay, 413. So how are we all doing today? Pretty good. Ding, ding, ding. I guess the numbers worked. Ooh, this is actually stuff. This is a cube puzzle. Is he making us solve this? Oh, come on. Give us a break. You never did like those puzzles, did you? Even when we were kids. Let's do our best. Puzzle cube. I'll solve that later. All right, one, three, nine. Yeah, this is kind of boring, but what of? It's zero escape. There's so many escape rooms and so many combinations you gotta figure out. Two, seven, five. Something tells me that cube puzzle was gonna be the only thing in here. Oh, never mind. A, a card. It's a picture of a syringe pointing at a candle. Must be some kind of hint it was placed inside that locked locker. It looks like you fill the syringe with air and use it to blow out a candle. Is there even a candle by here though? Oh, the poster. Maybe use the syringe on this. Your skin dries out during the winter. Humidifiers are very helpful. Never thought about that. Must be rough. Well, your skin is rough. Syringe. The card said to inject the candle, so I did. The card's wrong, though. What are we missing? Suck up the air. 
Nah, that makes no sense. Um, holy sh- what the fuck? What the fuck happened here? Trash can. I could hide inside of it. What would that do? You afraid that Zero will come searching for us? <laughs> Maybe we could squeeze into the lockers, but I doubt we fit into the trash can. I was just kidding. Man, don't take that so seriously. Can we leave? This door is really well made. It isn't locked. We can head to the lounge anytime we want. We better find the antidote in this room first, though. So we're not actually locked in. We just need to find an antidote. That's a different change of pace compared to everything. I wonder who the other six people are, though. I mean, I'm assuming this is one of the timelines where people are dead. So it's either the entirety of Q team or the entirety of D team. And to be honest, if it's the entirety of Q team, I'm only using the antidote on Q. Ah, uh, so cube. Though all the parts aren't fitting together right. I'm taking it apart, putting it together, my head hurts. It can get a little stressful and cause lasting traumatic harm to kids, apparently. Oh, I have to. Whoa! Oh, this is how it works. Okay. Uh... Is it this? Fucking easy! <laughs> okay, the puzzle's done. Someone came out of it. Oh, that was annoying. I need a sugar pick-me-up. Let's find the antidote and we can look for candy in the lounge after, okay? This is a key card. Key card for probably this giant machine. The hole for something. Yep, a key card. It's a CT scanner. Why are we scanning for Connecticut? What the f- Hey, it fits! Can we use the Connecticut scanner now? Let's try it out. Boop. Who to scan? Carlos. Okay, Carlos, we're gonna start the scan. Got it. Hope nothing bad shows up. Hey, look, the results showed up on the display over the desk. That's a barcode reader. Actually, why don't I just do the other two first? Junpei, you next. I'll leave you two to work on the machine. You can count on me. I'll make sure to slice you up, Junpei. Okay, technically you're not wrong, but you could have phrased that less terrifyingly. <laughs> the brain scan shows up and it's just pictures of Akane all <laughs> Akane! <laughs> get ready, Akane. Don't do anything weird while I'm lying on this, Junpei. Nah, I just get an x-ray picture of your tits. There's nothing weird about that, trust me. Alright, well, let's scan this thing. Boop! Barcode reader's responding. Beep, 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 beep. Is there a code for this? Guess it didn't finish scanning. Do I literally have to hold it here? Okay, for how long am I supposed to hold it? Fun fact about barcodes, um, don't we just need to drag it all the way across all three in a line? Wait, really? Okay. That just... I feel like I just legitimately lost brain cells. I might need to get on the Connecticut scanner and check to see if I... Check to see if everything's working up there. Hey, this thing just beeped. Check it out, let under it turn green. But yeah, fun fact about barcodes, if you didn't know this, uh, they actually scan the white spaces in between the lines, not the black parts. Like not the black lines, they scan the spaces in between the lines, which is very trippy because we always thought that it just scans the other part. What? Bottle of ink and a lug wrench. It must be needed for something since they were locked up in the drawer. 
That's a bottle of ink and a syringe, Ooh. or no, a lug wrench. Why do I have this anyhow? Maybe put the ink in the syringe. Oh, hey. <laughs> so it wasn't air, it was ink. Oh, we fill in the fire, I get it. Remember this card we found in the locker? Isn't it hitting to the candle? Oh, I get it, so we need to inject the candle with this. Well, we can put the ink in now, so let's see what that does. What the fuck? Think spreading across the bottom half of the picture. That isn't creepy at all. So the card was hinting at injecting the candle. These two shapes on the side are strange. I wonder what they could be. They look like candles. Maybe we can inject here too. Oh. Now it's spreading up and left. Now it's spreading to the top right. Oh, I'm probably gonna need the lug wrench for this, or the stethoscope, actually. There's something in the middle of this X here. You're right, I feel something small. Lug wrench! It's probably a nut. Seems to have a bolt inside. Maybe we can get it off of the wrench. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I had the right idea for that, at least. And pop that sucker off. What? The picture slid up? Something came out. Uh, 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 what? Okay, sure. I'm guessing this is the last thing we have to solve. Looks like there's something inside the glass. Could that be the antidote? The numbers are there, but what's the combination? Why don't we just turn it until it clicks? But that'll be that easy. Ah, fuck. If the antidote that Zero mentioned is in the case, then we have a chance at surviving. One of my coworkers once told me the kind of dials you should go right, left, right. Now if only we hear the tumblers clicking inside. The oh, 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 I get it. I wasn't even looking for a hint, but I get it. Now we can use Cescope to hear the unlocking sound. Very cool! That's how, like, bank robbers do it in the movies. Yeah, I think it's unlocked. Way to go, Carlos. Let's open it up. Cases that look like they can contain an antidote. A, B, C, D, all the way to H. There are eight cases, and each one has a button with a small container. Just what are these? Achievement unlocked in the big leagues now, because I probably got out of six rooms. Anyhow, what is this? That was easy, too. Thanks! Yeah, I found all 20 of them. I am quite tired, now that you mention it. What? The case? This case? 100 cc's of the antidote. What does this have to do with anything? Oh no. What? Of course. So if we're wrong, we'll we'll die. What do you mean? Okay, great. Okay, how do we go about this? 
Okay. What do we do? What the hell do we do? I don't know. Uh, Maybe we should go. Let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'll eight. Take a. Carlos, grab B. Akane, you take C. We don't have enough time for that. We can't rely on that method to work. Why? It takes three minutes before we know anything either way. Okay, 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 look, look, look. It'd be alright if we picked the correct one, but if we didn't... If we didn't, then we don't know. We're all dead. So, what do we... Junpei, just calm down. Okay, I think I have an idea. So, let me get this straight. So, there are... Not that. So, there are one, two, three... So, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H... So, there are three of us, okay? It's Junpei, Akane, and Carlos. See, so if he licks this, he licks that, and he licks this. If we know what's going on, then that's going to be good. If one of our tongues go numb, then that's going to be great for us. However, if our tongues don't go numb, then we have to pick from one of these five to drink. And that's not gonna work. So obviously there's no way to properly guarantee it, but what our best bet might be to do is to have Junpei lick two, Akane licks two, and Carlos licks two. Cause then that way, let's say Junpei, or no, let's say, uh, uh, yeah, let's go with Junpei. Let's say that Junpei's tongue goes numb then we know that it's one of these two. Which means that instead of picking from five, we're picking from two. Which brings our chances of picking the right one from 20 up to 50, which is fantastic. If Akane's goes numb, then it's the same thing. And if Carlos's goes numb, then it's that two. And then these last two, if none of us go numb, then we know it's those last two. But either way, we just have a 50-50 shot. I don't think there's any way we can actually fully guarantee this. So y'all y'all get my strategy, right? So there's no way to properly guarantee it, but we can at least get our odds up to 50-50, which I think is going to be pretty good. Now anyways, Akane is probably going to be like, Junpei, just calm down. I know about something called the Fibonacci sequence. And uh, there was an experiment about it. And I saw it on a game show. And this is how we're going to be able to narrow it down. Due to probability laws. There's a better way. Yeah, like what? First, Carlos. You need to lick E, F, G, and H. What? Next, Junpei. You lick samples C, D, G, and H. As for me, I'll take samples B, D, F, and H. What about A? We don't need to test that one. Why? We don't have time. Just do as I say. Oh, I get it. All right. Let's trust Akane. I get it. I get it. I get it. Damn bitch, you smart. Okay. So basically, the way that she's going about this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Damn, this bitch is smart. Okay, I'm going to pull up the log just because I want to... Just because I, I just wanna I just wanna write this down because that's actually really smart. Hold on. So Junpei Kane Carlos. So Junpei A B C D E. So Junpei is gonna be licking these four. That didn't work. Let's just flip it. So Junpei is going to be like in these four in that case. Or no, Carlos is going to be licking that stuff. Ah, oh, fuck. No, wait, no, wait. That's no, no. I don't know why I'm going through all the effort of trying to draw this out. Just, I, I think I'm trying to just get an idea of what like Akane is trying to tell us to do. Okay, so Carlos licks that, 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 and that. Uh, Junpei, like C, D, G, and H. 
And then Akane takes samples B, D, F, and H. That's a really hard way to do it, but basically she's divvying it out so then that way um, everybody takes a lick and depending on whose tongues go numb, we could use process of elimination to figure out exactly which one it is by divvying out. So it's like, this one is only Junpei and Akane. This one is all three of them. This one is nobody. This one is like only, this one's only like, this one is only Carlos. This one is only like Akane and Carlos. This one is only like Junpei and Akane. That's, that's fucking smart. Oh my God. Okay, well, are our tongues going numb? Oh, hold on. Can you feel it, Junpei? Yeah, do you too? Do you guys feel so it? I'm the only one without a reaction. <laughs> so I got it, and Junpei did too. Oh, am I gonna have to solve this? Then it must be. She's gonna collapse. God damn it! Oh, Akane! Hey, what's wrong? She got poisoned, uh, dumb bit. Oh, not again. Uh, shit, our resistances, they must be different. Uh, it looks like the poison uh, got to her faster. Fuck. So what should we do now? We have to figure it out. What was that method Akane came up with? I know what it is. We'll have to make the decision ourselves. The answer, what's the answer? I lick samples E, F, G, and H. Junpei had C, C, D, G, and H. H. Akane, Akane had B, D, F, and H. And then, only I didn't feel anything. Carlos didn't feel anything. In that case, the container with the antidote is. Ooh, this is cool. This is a logic puzzle. I like that. Where is the antidote? So this is a logic puzzle. I think that's really sick. Okay, I'm gonna just. Put that down. All right, so let's logic our way through this. So basically, I'm gonna go through this. So we're going to say, um, no. So Junpei, Akane, Carlos. I immediately, like, I immediately understood what Akane was going for. Okay, so Jupe had C, D, G, and H. C, D, G, and H. Akane had B, D, F and H. What the fuck did Carlos have again? Carlos had samples. Carlos had samples E, F, G, and H. So Junpei and Akane had the samples. However, Carlos didn't. So we can immediately cross off E, F, G, and H. So I'll just write that all down here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. Okay, okay, okay. So Junpei and Akano's had the Akane had the right ones. So in that case, then we can immediately cross off E, F, G, and H. So we know not it's not that, it's not that, it's not that, it's not that, it's not this, 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 or that. Now since both of them felt it. And since both of them felt it, it's obviously not C or B because they didn't take either of those. Nobody took A, so it's not that. So that means that the answer has to be D. Is 
I get that right? Did I get that right? Am I smart? Please tell me I'm smart. I hear good music, so that's good. Oh, why are there six? Because there's six antidotes. Uh, Zero said uh, that we need a hundred cc's of the antidote. There's six people infected with the poison. Uh, doesn't that mean that each of those are 50 cc's? No. No, I'm pretty sure these are 100 cc. No, he said that uh, six people are infected. So, uh, there are three left over. Can you guys just take the damn poison? Whatever. We got it right. Uh, didn't we, Carlos? I think. Yeah, I'm positive. Can we take the fucking antidote now? Me? Guys, come on. Hang on, Akane. Guys? Hurry, get her the medicine. Get her the fucking medicine. Yeah, Everybody I take know. it. We need to take it too. Yes. Stop right. talking and down it, you idiots. Okay, down the hatch. <laughs> just, just drink up, people. <laughs> Ow, are we are we dead? No, that's what the fuck. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Are we dead? Oh, I don't think we're dead. Hey, we lived. I'm really sorry. I just suddenly fainted and. Yeah, bitch, you no, weak. It's okay. The plan still saved. That us. was pretty smart, actually. Thanks. Good job, Akari. Huh. Still, six vials of antidote is kind of strange. Why so many? Okay. I know you guys are getting injected with memory loss drugs, but did you seriously forget that Zero said that six people were infected with a poison? He only said that about an hour ago. Come on. That's a pretty big thing to... For? It's for the other three people, you dummies. The oh. Oh, okay. So only one thing of value is lost. Okay, so this is the timeline where Q-Team died. I kill fool. That is all. Q -team is <laughs> That's what Mira did in the last episode. Even Q. He couldn't even see or hear when- Wait, you know who Q is? Ugh, to just mercilessly kill someone like that. <sighs> so, I guess that means- only us and D team are still alive. Well, that's good. Only three more people oh, have to drop before we can wait leave. Wait a minute. What? I think D team might be in danger right now. Yes, Akane. Thank you. Carlos, Junpei, grab the antidote and get to the lounge. Hey, what are you? No time to explain. Her what do you mean, Todd? Did did nobody fucking guys? Do neither of you remember that another team is infected? You guys are Give idiots. Please drink them. Nice. Go, dog. When Zero spoke to us, I realized something. He said See, six of us. Only one yes. Administered the poison. Yes. <laughs> you Thank you. Yes, Holy yes, fuck. Yes. Oh my god. You're right. He did say six back then. How long did it take you guys to remember that? And now Q team is. Stop petting the fucking dog so and send it in. We are. Everyone on D team. Send in the dog. So these actually get to them. <laughs> yeah, stop fucking. Even reach them in time. I hope so. The only thing we can do now is pray. Yeah, the what? humanity's survival is kind of. Or yeah. Or that he doesn't make it, and there'll be six people dead. Junpei. That's what you meant, right? Junpei. 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 Are you kidding? Oh God, you sound like my mom. <laughs> I love Junpei, man. I mean, look, I get why that's mean, but at the same time, he's got a point. I mean, it's kind of a win-win situation, if you think about it in the most brutally honest sense. Either 
either D-Team is still alive and we're able to save them, or D-Team dies and we're able to leave. <laughs> we either get to save people or we get to leave. Either way, I feel like that's a pretty good outcome. Anyways, did you pay really just say, God, you sound like my mom to Akane being like, why do you want six people to die? Oh my God, that's, really look all right, that is hilarious. The poison's not completely gone yet. Well, yeah, we were just poisoned no, for like an hour. That's not it. What? You're worried about the D-team then. No, I saw your severed head in the um, locker. Junpei, this might sound messed up to you, but I, s I saw something earlier. I saw a glimpse of another timeline. One where you were not alive. Your head. It was in the pantry. Just your head. Well, I remember that. <laughs> you, you're. Why are you laughing this off? <laughs> what the hell are you smoking, Carlos? Actually, that's a pretty good, pretty good <laughs> thought. I'm fine. See? Look, all limbs attached and accounted for. For now. Maybe it was like a prophecy or something. A prophecy? I highly doubt you're seeing into the future. I agree. Yeah, that's the D-team execution timeline. It's not the future you saw, but a different past. What? What do you mean? <laughs> you know, don't you, Junpei? Morphogenetic field theory. Ah, so sweet. I got decapitated in the past. Exists in a dimension we can't see that acts as a medium for information. Oh, so finally, Akane is talking this about this. This what's happening. I think Carlos accessed that field and saw another history. Yes, yeah, one where you died horrendously. What? Remember what you said during the vote? You can tell down which path death waits and which is safe. Ooh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. You just have really good intuition. That's just my gut feeling. Sure. <laughs> Where are you going with this? You're a firefighter. He's right? field sensitive. There must have been countless times when you found yourself facing danger. Oh, good point. To go right or left, go upstairs or turn back. Maybe every time you made a decision, you were observing the other histories. Which Damn. Which held someone needing your help? Which door blocked an inferno? You knew because you saw it happen already. How many timelines did Carlos die in? Holy fuck. <laughs> Why do you know all this, Akane? Because I have the same ability as you. And so does Junpei, too. Junpei can do it, too. All three of us are field sensitive. Whoopee! It's thanks to his power that I'm even here at all. That was a long time ago. That was a year ago. I, I haven't been able to use it since. Even now, I... Hello? Greetings. How does it feel to revive from the brink of hell? Um, pretty good. Zero. Now it is time for you to sleep. Ah, fuck. When next you wake, now you will have no memory of these past. Wait, somebody write down the morphogenetic field what stuff. Dreams. When I want to continue this convert. Ow. Hey, well, good news is the whole team actually made it through a fragment this time. That's the first time in a while this happened. Achievement unlocked, down the hatch. Okay then, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I like that. So, what do we do now? Right, Q team, right? Hop over to Q team, let's see what we got going on next. Uh, so we have this one, which is you chilling with zero the fuck um then we have this one which is q holding a crossbow Ooh, this is a long story fragment okay yeah i'm uh i'm gonna take another i'm gonna take a two minute break as i've already been doing and then we'll just hop into the q team fragment for the day that sound good good
and we're back. So, um, yeah, so I've got my first fragment done for the day. That was a nice one. I like that one. I thought that was cool. I liked the puzzle for it. <laughs> I liked the puzzle for it a lot. Uh, so now let's hop into this. Um, death, murder. <laughs> let's see what Q team has going on in this fragment. This is called Triangle. Like the Illuminati? Hi guys. I'll go check out the other rooms. Okay. Have fun. <laughs> oh, that. Uh, see ya. You're walking really hmm. slow. 1810. Another six hours after the initial vote. That Eric. Why is he even bothering to look in the other rooms? I don't know. We already searched through each one when we first woke up. Nothing. I don't think we've seen all of them. Uh, there was that one room we couldn't figure out how to get into. Oh, that's right. Yeah. What? Let's go! <laughs> I mean, look, Eric is the kind of guy who's probably afraid of his own shadow, but still, you should probably go check it out if he's, like, terrified and stuff. Whoa. How crazy is this? I was tapping spots on the wall in the hallway when you opened some kind of secret door. You found a secret you door? Did. I'm impressed. Not the fuck? Oh wow, this room has a whole lot of books. You like to read? Uh, I mean I could see through these eye holes, right? Do you like to read? What? That guy sounded like zero. Um, I don't know. Come on. You're talking about yourself here. I don't really know myself. I don't know. Remember, I have amnesia. Uh, do I like to read? So. <laughs> I got mind melted, anyway? remember? A study? Though it's practically an entire library. Seems like someone was just here. Uh, who? The only one who can wander freely would be... Zero. Right. It's got to be Zero. Oh, shit! So that means... This is zero study? Yo, we're in zero study? Then there's got to be some sort of clue. Hell yeah! I like that. About who Zero is, or how to get out of this crazy place. If anything was hidden in here... There's a lot of stuff here. Many, many different safes. And a big one, Those too. Those safes would be the best bet. Let's start looking. We ready? Okay, another escape room. Whoopty doopty. Oh, fuck yeah. Is this the pantry theme? Dude, those are my favorite songs from the last game. All right, let's kick it. This is a paper organizer, isn't it? Maybe there's a clue. Huh, it doesn't open. Okay, uh, these four figures are all posed differently. Is this Zero's collection? I can't say I understand his taste. They look decorative. Maybe they mean something. <laughs> I don't know why. Why was my first thought? It's just, it's fun to stay at the YMCA. <laughs> okay, look at this big ass chair over here. Do you think this chair is different from the other one? Okay, this remix slaps. Dude, you hear that fucking bass line? Yo! got a keyboard that's not responding. I bet the power isn't on. I don't see a power switch anywhere. So let's look around. What is this? Looks like a bird? What's a cylinder? There's a bird, no wait, or like a bird man mark on the side? It's a cryptex. It opens with a, it opens with a specific set of letters. We have to match four, huh? Let's try. I got it. Oh, this is the whole ass alphabet, okay. Bird. Fuck, it was worth a try. <laughs> Jeez, you know how many combinations there are, right, Eric? Are you stupid? I'm not stupid, or that's stupid. <laughs> okay, how about we go up here? Transition! Ooh, newspaper. This is... Each pole division stall has a meaning. Right hand over chest means confirm. Crouching with hands on knees means deny. 
A dawn to deny foes indicates the meaning is the opposite. For example, nil changes to exist? What the fuck? What does that mean? <laughs> what? Is... Where have I seen this pose before? Yeah, it's the piece of paper. What does that mean? Right hand over chest means confirm. So, confirm? If you get the correct combination, we'll open the safe. Oh my. Confirm! Fuck! I don't know what to put in. It's not like we just put something in randomly. We need so much time. I think this means nil? Let's try nil. I remember that was one of the letters. Whoa! Hey, that's it! It worked? Fantastic, how'd you know the answer? Uh, just a coincidence, wasn't it? He's the one most surprised out of all of us. Uh, well, it all worked out anyways. Let's open it up and see what's inside. This is a crossbow. Part E. Holy shit, okay. Uh, sun card, nil. Uh, cool. How fucking big is this library? It's so amazing, it goes on forever. It's like book heaven. It's no time to wax poetic. Let's search the room. Uh, oh, hey. This is the sun. It says sun... nil. All right, load it up, locked and loaded, shoot it. What does it mean? Damn, of course it's locked. There's a spot for a key, we should go find one first. Oh, wait, no. This is the sun. This is deny. Or no, this one's exist. Uh, exist. Tuh. Hell yeah! Oh my god, this song is so good. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, this is like, this is getting me such in the mood to solve escape rooms and be super duper smart. Awesome, now we can unlock the safe. So let's see what's inside. Is that a power box? Can't say it looks like a treasure to me. Uh, I found a brush, it looks like a toilet brush. Uh, combine. What the fuck is this? Send away in the safe, so my best is it's for something important. So let's pull it. Oh, the chair has power now. Uh, perfect. What, are we gonna be like Professor X or something? I think the power's on now. What's the keyboard for? Let's try putting something in. Uh. <sighs> Worth a shot. It says error. How do you even know, do you even know the code you're entering? <laughs> we should search the room if you don't have it. There's no need to rush, so don't worry. What's this? I think it's the fountain pen, and that's it, a pen. There's something written here, but the ink is all blurry, so I can't really make it out. If we can't read it, then we may as well look elsewhere. What is this? There's no spot for a key on the safe, so how are we supposed to open it? Maybe we can just break it open. Break it open with a crossbow, shoot it. Hey, what's that supposed to mean, Aaron? <laughs> We're gonna need to break open the door another way. Oh, there's this. And pentagram. Oh, hey. This is... The fuck? Oh! <laughs> hey, Q's the little Russian doll. <laughs> 
Anyways, this looks like uh, Phi, Junpei, Diana, Carlos, Q, Sigma, Akane, uh, Eric, <laughs> and Diana. I love how Eric is a fucking baby shoot him. I kind of want to fire it. Silent and easy to use. An excellent weapon. Don't point it this way if you're going to use it, okay? All the pictures were replaced with different versions? Maybe we shot the wrong ones. But there are reactions, so that means we're supposed to do it, right? Uh, okay, well, hear me out. Uh, if we look at the global flow chart, we see that the crazy four-way choice that we're about to come onto is right there. So that means that this is the timeline in which D-Team is dead. So, Sigma. Wait, what? Crew in the dark, let's find a hint. Wait, do I just... I tried shooting the three of us. <laughs> this doesn't feel good. Those arrows are in pretty deep. I'm getting kind of sad from all this arrow shooting. We should stop now. <laughs> Okay, well I shot the three of us. I don't know what that did. Uh, there's a fireplace. There's a fire in the fireplace. Oh, I know, we can climb the chimney and get out. There's no way it's that simple. We wouldn't be going through all this if it was. You're right, I'm sorry I got excited. It's a monitor, right? Nothing's on it. Is it supposed to show game scores? What the fuck? Okay, where do I go? What are these? Eight different poses than the ones on the paper we just found. You're right, none of them are in the confirm or deny pose. So that must mean that these have different meanings. I would think so. If they have different meanings, then where do I find a paper that says what its meaning is? It's probably gonna be four letters for this. What What is sign language? Wait, actually. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well go me. The safe and this key of the same mark. I hope this one opens the safe. <laughs> Open sesame. Great job, now let's see what's inside. Part D. A uh, star mark key. And a handgun. Why is there a handgun? Birdman card. F H G Y. Oh. Er H F G Y. That's this. H F G Y. H F G Y. Click. You gotta be It's H-F-G-Y, right? H-F-G-Y. Did I put it in wrong? Oh, I get it. It's cause of this, it's lit up, so it actually goes backwards. Never mind. The card has four letters, but it doesn't make any sense. Speaking of sets of four, do you think those four figures on the table are related at all? So, <laughs> no. I don't know, would this be H to F G Y? <laughs> what the fuck does this mean? They're not on the confirm or deny pose, so what do they mean? Oh wait, I have a handgun! Break it open! The gun's powerful, yes, but not powerful enough to break it open. I see. And here I was thinking this is a good idea. Well, I, I do have another key, don't I? It's a star mark key. Okay, go to the pentagram. The safe in this key of the same mark. I hope it opens it. Open sesame! Time to check what's inside. Part C. The moon card, nil. 
SO216. Wait a minute. Wait, but the moon vault was up there, right? This was the moon vault? Wait, did I just completely guess that on accident? Okay, that's not what I was trying to do. <laughs> All right, let's try inputting this again. And SO216. S O two sixteen. What? Excuse me, that was disgusting. Yes, I knew the code would go here. So now what? <laughs> Look at him! He's just sitting in the chair. You okay? That chair startled me when it went up so suddenly. Yeah, it scared me too. You were worried about me, Eric? No, I wasn't. What's up there, anyways? Oh yeah, I think the number we put in is probably a book's number. I see. Entering the correct code makes the chair go up to get the corresponding book. So we were lucky this time you got the right one number. What book did you get? It's more of a piece of paper than a book. There are additional pieces from left to right. Right hand raises the grass dance, move three. Left hand raises the sand dance, move five. What the fuck does that mean? The grass dance? Okay, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna think about that. All right, now we have part C, D, part E, uh, never mind. I can't combine these? I combine it with the handgun, with this. Fuck. Okay, I probably need to get part A in that case. Oh, wait, what if I tried shooting three people? Let's try shooting everyone on C team. Whoa, Mira, do you even know how to shoot? Um, bam. And bam, bam. Oh, I don't know what happened, but I think we cleared it. What was the rule behind this? We did what we had to, so don't worry about it. More importantly, look, something's there. Oh. What is this? A grenade launcher? Sigma doll, we don't need to shoot it. Sure, a grenade launcher will definitely bust this open. I think we'll blow the safe's doors to pieces. Hold on a second, we'll be in pieces too if you fire that thing here. He's right, I don't even know how much firepower it has. And how about we shoot it from the second floor? Come on, it's gotta be enough. I agree. I guess it's a little better to shoot from here. Fire in the hole! Wait, we haven't really checked to see if it's really safe. Oh my god, I didn't think it'd be that powerful. That's why I said to wait. Okay, we're just lucky. We're lucky we're okay all this time. I think the door broke open. Everything's fine, so let's just go back downstairs. Wow, it really is in pieces. Let's see what's inside, and I hope nothing's broken. Figures are inside the safe, and they're all in the same pose. Must be important somehow, since they were locked in the safe. There's something else in here. Part A. Examine. Letter A is engraved on it. <laughs> Wait, what does that say? <laughs> what did Eric just fucking say? This... The strange part we could use it for. Letter A is engraved on it. What does it mean? I think it means you're adorable. <laughs> what? Okay, uh, combine this with part CD. Never mind. What the hell is this gonna even make? This pose is the wind dance, right? Yep, it means shift seven down. So what exactly are we shifting down seven? Shift 21 down. So actually, this might sound really weird, but see right here. So SO216. Is there some kind of coordinate system to that? Oh, I haven't even checked the rest of these drawers. The other drawer is locked. Let's keep looking around. No, not what I meant to do. Okay. Ugh. Four letters. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, J0503. I didn't even check that note. 
J0503. J0503. Enter. All right, up I go. What? Can we find a note in the safe we blew up? Huh, you know, there was something else in there. J0503. Yeah, it says shifting seven down, so. J0503. Fuck. Uh, okay. And the pose means to shift seven down. We need to shift, there's nothing else in the safe. No, it was found in here. I'll come back to that later. Uh, anyways, let's try doing the Birdman note. F-H-G-Y. Not what it means? Oh wait, no, 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 F-H-G-Y. F-H-G-Y. Wait, 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 I think I'm getting something. So basically this is F-H-G-Y and then if we go into here, Right hand is grass dance, move three down, move five down. I get it, I get it, I get it. So, we're supposed to like shift it down letter wise. So, I'm gonna take a picture of this just so I don't have to memorize it. All right, all right, all right. So now we know that it, this is HFGY, right? So in that case, this one is the sand dance, so down five. Left hand raised it. No wait, that's the sand dance, right? So left hand extended out is the wind dance. So this one moves seven down. And then the last two. Or no wait, left hand raised is this? No, okay, no, that's not. That's not right. Okay, so. Or actually, no, wait, this one is seven. These two are five. And this last one is three because it's the grass dance. I get it. So what was the code originally? HFGY. So HFGY, so shift five, three, seven, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, three, seven, five. So this one's going to be one, two, three. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Mind! Woo! Woo! Cool! I knew this was the right answer. That's part B now. Let's combine this with part A. Get part A, B. Combine this motherfucker with part. C, D, combine it with part E, F, and I get a large ass key. And I get a note too. Bullet for C team, arrow for Q team, acid for D team. Wait, did I get that entirely? Did I get that entirely by guessing? That's not what I meant at all. The fuck? Oh, right, because this is the timeline where D-Team died. So, I guess that's why Acid for D-Team's crossed off. Giant key probably goes in here. Hope we can find clues to where two zero is this time. Something awesome has to be inside a huge safe like this. What is in here? It opened. Huh?
Oh, that was it. What does it say? Uh, what does kill one? Mean? Kill one? Must mean we have to kill someone. We have to kill one person? We have to. What the? Uh, hello? Is that... Oh, no, Junpei. No! Junpei! Junpei, no! This doesn't come as much of a shock, because I already saw it. What the fuck happened? Oh, Jesus! Did he just kill himself? No. Did Carlos just kill himself? Oh my god! I think so. But why? I don't know. Maybe it had to do with Junpei's body? He just couldn't take the sight of it. Oh, Akane's still alive. DT, Diana, five, six, oh, I get it. Five are now deceased. So one of us has to die. Five will be revealed. Oh, shit. Light, jump, blue, red, milk. One of us has to die. That's what it means by kill one. There's five casualties, which means that... Uh, it mentioned five people. Right? To get the last axe pass. Us, Akane's left. But why in the world did D Team We executed them? The execution. Back during the vote at 1330, D Team was Well, the reason why isn't the issue. What's important is the reveal of five X passes. We just need one more. In other words. If one more person dies. Uh oh. Kill one. Oh shit! Ooh! <laughs> hey guys, we should stay calm now. Oh, we got ourselves a we got ourselves a good old-fashioned Western standoff. First. But what, what are you saying? Put the gun down, bitch. If, if I put mine down. If I put mine down, you're gonna kill me. You hate me. Why do you have a grenade launcher? Why, Mira? Mira? We're in love. What you do with your crazy bitch? Um, Eric, this will be hard for you to hear. Uh, Mira's kind of psycho. I think you might be mistaken about that. You're lying. A little. And why is a gun pointed at you? <laughs> no, it's not what it looks like, Eric. What does that mean? I love you with all that I am. Mira. What? So you know what you need to do, right? What? Huh? You don't get it. You're gonna decimate all of us. Um. What do you mean? He's saying you gotta obliterate me. How dumb can you get? I don't know. Mira, this You're is not trying to get Eric to kill me, right? You do realize if he shoots that grenade launcher, we're all dead, right? I have this gun. You fucking idiot! You, of course. If I drop my weapon. Okay, listen. Will? We can talk this out, right? Eric, how about you putting yours down? You put first. yours down first. No Mira can put down hers. Not happening. Well, fuck you. I put this down. You'll definitely kill Mira. I never so said I was gonna kill Mira. No, I know. If anything, I'd probably kill you instead. That you won't up and fire that thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know what we're planning on doing. Okay, can we just put down the weapons, guys, please? We've got ourselves we a getting anywhere like got ourselves a little bit of a if standoff. Just one more person dies. One more person. One more person. One more. Just one more. You are going to love this one. Ooh. Who do I kill? Who do I kill? Oh my god! I see. There are four ways this can go. I kill Eric, I kill Mira, I shoot myself, or nobody dies. Who do I kill? 
You know, normally I just shoot Eric without hesitation, but Mira has proven to be quite the threat to humanity. Hmm. Who do I want to kill? <laughs> to be honest, Q's the only person that I actually care about. I want to take both the asses out. Oh. Come on, please. Please. Just let me do it. Ah, you motherfucker. All right, let's kill Akana instead. She's crazy. Cannot get the word C. All right, fine. Shoot the dog. <laughs> No, that's fucked up. Okay. Kill zero. Do not know identity. <laughs> Shit, who do I kill? Uh. I could kill Mira, myself, or Eric. Um, okay. I'm gonna take another, like, two minute pee break while I just try and decide who I'm gonna shoot, okay? So just give me a second. Okay, then I'm all good. Is it bad that this is a, like, I feel like an insanely fucked up person for saying that this is a hard decision. Not that I'm trying to figure out how many people I want to save, but rather because I just can't figure out who I want to kill more. <laughs> I would be happy to shoot Eric in the face, but you know, if Mira didn't directly aid to the downfall of humanity in the last episode, I would be less inclined to shoot her. To be honest, Eric is the one holding a goddamn grenade launcher, so if he fires that thing, we're all gone. So I I feel like if I shoot Mira, Eric's going to turn around and shoot me in a blind rage and blow himself up too. So actually, I don't even think that's an option. Uh, everyone. Oh, come on. Ugh. Why can't I do myself? Nah, I can't do that. I don't want to let these two walk out free. One of them's gotta go. But I'm pretty sure if I shoot Mira, Eric's going to kill me in a blind rage. So, Eric, you gotta go. Sorry about that. Hi. Oh, shit! Are you for real? I am for real. You can suck my underage nuts. <sighs> Q, don't feel bad, honey. You did the right thing. Nice view of Eric's butt. You did the right thing, man. A joke, right? Nope. Mm, looks like it got you pretty good. <laughs> Mira does not give a fuck. To help you right now, but Eric's gonna. Mira? She's gonna double tap him. I'm going to kill you. Oh my god! I. I He's gonna double tap her in his of ass. Course. You only need one more. Do you have any last words? Any last words? Mira. I forgive. You ain't even aiming that at his face, you idiot. You look better when you smile. 
Ooh. Why? Jesus! You're asking me that? You're the one who took the first shot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I shot you. Yeah. You're right. But <laughs> I'm pretty sure we were all going to die no matter how what. Can you be so calm about it? Calm? She's insane. Oh no, I'm actually surprised right now. What? I had no idea his last words would be the same as my first. What? Your first. Your first? No, not that way. It's something else. Oh, the first thing he said to him. First of all, it's not as if I was actually dating him or anything. <laughs> I guess you weren't really in love. Just with clarifying, him. I wasn't really I dating him we after you just him. blew his head I just off. Let him go since it would have been a hassle. A hassle? What about how Eric? <laughs> it would have feelings. Huh? <laughs> It would have been a real big hassle to break up with him, you know, so I just shot the fucker instead. <laughs> I haven't really been able to understand. Hey, right, you're nuts! Wait, what? Anger, sadness, pain, fear, and things like love. So when Eric said he liked me as much as he did, I didn't know why. Oh, is that I why you're really such an unfeeling, crazy ass whore? Oh my god! Oh my god, Mira! Mira! Mira, what, what the doing? fuck? I'm going to touch Eric's heart. Ever since I was little, I've always been told I'm callous and unfeeling. Why did the faces on What the change? fuck? What? I never understood what, what expressions What? Were. what are you... I take a mirror and practice making them every day. What the fuck? They looked right. One day my mother told me something. Deep inside a person's chest is an object called a heart. This heart controls their emotions and changes their expressions. Wasn't there something about a thinking, serial killer who changes people's hearts? Why was everyone hiding this important thing inside so no one else could see? Bitch, are you a so serial, serial killer? I decided my first would be a woman. My oh my god, she's a serial killer! On an isolated street, so there would be no bystanders. And then I stabbed her without warning with a small knife I brought with me. Mira's just telling the story to a child, no problem. <laughs> Bitch, you nuts! on animals, but I was still surprised by how fast she collapsed. Oh my god, oh my god! Why did you do this? Oh my fucking god! I want to see what a heart is. Mira, you nuts! I'm the only one who doesn't know. What the fuck is wrong with this woman? That's where you hide it, right? I know where it is. Okay, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. I fucked up. This was a very much fuck up. This was definitely a fuck up. <laughs> this was such a fucking bad decision. Mira, you gotta go! Holy shit, you are nuts! You are even crazier than Eric! You gotta go, girl! <laughs> this no, you bitch nut- Uh-oh. Uh, Eric! Okay. About that, yeah, you know what? Okay, back to- back to this. Back to this. All right, let's go back to this story. Yeah, let's go back to this then. Well, I thought I'd be able to get rid of Mira, but turns out I can't. On an isolated street, there would be no bystanders. This is one crazy bitch. Actually, one crazy bitch. I practiced on animals, but I was still surprised by how fast she collapsed. She is a sociopath. That's <laughs> lovely. I want to see what a heart is. Yeah, wasn't there something about like serial killers who, who doesn't know. like rips the heart out of the person's body? Oh, oh, oh God! Hey, that's where you hide it, right? Oh my God! I know where it is. Ah! Uh, Hurry up and show me. 
Oh, the same words as her first victim. Don't ever do something so terrible again. Can you do that? Oh, I get it. Why? This the same words as your first victims. Smiled. Look better. This girl's fucking Smiles? nuts. The woman didn't answer me. Patted at her face for a long time. She didn't even blink anymore. You killed her, you idiot! When I gave up on waking her, I thoroughly searched for her heart. Oh, what the? Her releasing Radical Six now makes total sense, doesn't it? An unfamiliar, warm, comforting sensation. I knew it. It was here. She's just nuts. She, she's the actually insane. The formed on her face was a smile. Well, that's when I realized that this kind of moment was when you should smile. Oh my god! No! I began to hunt for that, reaching out and touching heart after heart. No! I was terrible at it at first. Mira, I barely no! touched hearts and always badly. But after doing it what over the fuck? and over again, I eventually got better at it. I want to strangle <laughs> this bitch! I'm it's so right. happy she died in the other timeline. I learned about so much. No, we don't love some things. serial killing. And there was always new expressions to see. But unfortunately, after that, what first, the fuck, bro? I was never able to find that comforting heart. Oh yeah, you know the thrill of the kill. Feel that warmth, one more. The time. thrill of the kill just wears off after a while, you know. Searching to find someone who held that same warmth. So you found Eric. And that was how one day. Oh my God. She was looking for prey. He was working at an ice cream shop <laughs> with one glance. Why do I feel bad? Useless, no Why do I feel no bad words, about Eric, nothing. man? I've seen many hearts of those like him, but none held my interest. Naive, helpless weaklings. It's as if they're amusing creatures simply there to be exploited. That's all I saw them as. But Eric. Eric. Something felt different with him. I stopped by the shop. This man was a simp. He literally dropped everything to be to with you. I figure out how he was different from all the others. And all you wanted was to carve his heart out. I tried talking to him. I spent time speaking with him, going places together to learn how he reacts. But I still didn't know. At one point, I thought I'd made a mistake. But. My god. Oh, what the fuck? There's oh, blood this, everywhere! This is it. I knew Eric would be different. What the fuck does that. A Q! I a when I first Q! Him. Grab oh, that crossbow! Aim it! Told you to shoot die. that bitch and in her face! Words were exactly the same as my first. You are How insane! Incredible is that? End her goddamn life! Oh, oh. oh my god! Really, truly loved me. Girl, you are insane! Take her ass out, Q! This love. Take her out! She's crazy! She is crazy! Carlos, Junpei, Q Team, Eric, <laughs> D Team, Diana, Phi, Sigma. These six are now deceased. She's As fucking result, nuts! Six X passes will be revealed. Q! Fight, jump, pour. Like, kill her, dude! Milk. Get That's rid of her! Don't let her walk free into the world. Are we just leaving? I just noticed. I think that's an anagram. An anagram? You've switched the letters around to get a different meaning. The truth is invisible. The truth is invisible. So that's what it changes to, huh? What do you think it means? I don't know. Hmm. I'm not really sure. 
Maybe it's similar to a human heart. No, don't bring that sh- You can't see it because it's hidden inside your chest. This girl is fucking nuts. That is not what it means, Mira. All right. Should I put Why is Q just yeah, so casual ahead. about this? This girl is a confirmed serial killer. Fucking kill her. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Well, time to leave. We have Q and two totally mentally stable people. Okay, let's go. Yeah. How about you go in front of me so you can't stab me in the back? Never mind. At least Gab is safe. I tried shooting Gab, it didn't work. Wait, that was an ending? Oh, fuck. Ah, so that was the Mira is a crazy ass hoe ending. Achievement is, <laughs> achievement unlocked. What is love? Don't hurt me. <laughs> Q and one crossbow. That was great. Let's never do that again. Um, you're right. That was great. Now, actually, let's try shooting even more people. So this is what happens when I try to shoot Mira. Uh, Eric got why? shot and took the bullet. Mira, no, not there. Oh, I shot him in the heart. <laughs> yeah. I have to. Hey, don't make that face. Smiles look better on you. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. You don't get your heart. What a waste. What? See what you went and did. Sorry. Uh, no. I, I just. She's gonna guess. shoot me. And lest we forget, you tried to kill me, didn't you? Yep. Better not try to weasel out of this. Uh oh. <laughs> Mira, please. <laughs> you double tapped me. Oh my. Oh my goodness. C team, Carlos, Junpei. Q team, Q, Eric. Oh my god. D team, Diana, Five, Sigma. These seven are now. These seven? Holy fuck. Okay. Jeez. She looks. This couldn't have ended any shittier. <laughs> Mira. Oh, wait, I'm dead? Never mind, I'm dead. Oh, fuck. <laughs> At least I stopped her from getting her heart. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Who do I want to? Who do I want to aim for now? I like this. I want to keep killing people. Who do I aim for now? So we have shoot Eric, shoot Mira. Three-way standoff. What if I shoot myself? <laughs> what if I just turn the gun on myself? The three-way standoff. That is quite a crazy thing. Okay. Shoot myself. You cannot commit suicide. Why? Please input Q's name. I, 
don't know what Q's name is. Just a very slight spoiler, you can get, you can only get three of the options now. This fourth option is basically post game. Oh, so you learn Q's name at a later date. Um, nobody. I won't shoot anybody this time. We're all going to live and be happy. All right, I'll lower, lower the weapon. My weapon down first. So now, you two. Yeah. Okay. All right, lower your weapons. Sure. Lower the weapon, Eric. <laughs> what? <gasps> no. You're insane. You killed all three. Never mind. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. I got toasted like a marshmallow. Now announcing the current casual. Also, how did that not kill you guys? Carlos, Junpei, Q Team, Q. Ouch. He's so proud of himself. He's so happy that he killed a child. Mira is very upset. Cause you know, serial killer Mira wanted to get his heart. Oh, they went on to go. They went on to... to escape without me. Great. <laughs> She's like, God damn it, I wanted his heart. Let's go, Mira. <laughs> She's... She Let's is so here. pissed. Build a happy home and She's so together. pissed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, God damn it, this is the only time in my life where murder is actually kind of acceptable. Three days later. The fuck? <laughs> they went and got ice cream? Man, I don't think I could be any happier. Mira just couldn't I wait. You, Mira. Man, this bed is super comfy. Mira's gonna murder him. Ah, I couldn't ask for anything more. Isn't that right? Yeah, right. Mira doesn't know what I feelings are. Can be like this every day. <sighs> oh, I see that hyphen at the end. Ever and ever and. Goodbye. <laughs> Serves him right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is ridiculous. Holy fuck. So there's a fourth option, which is input Q's name. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that was a, uh, I didn't know that was a thing. And actually, now just out of curiosity, since we still got some time left, um, I want to try going to here and actually. Looking at the who killed Mira thing. Because I had an idea the other day. So I just want to try it. Wait, I... You... Then tell me who did it. Tell me who didn't. Yeah, sure, I'll try. I want to just try this really quickly because... I have a weird suspicion that a psycho bitch like herself killed herself. Who knows, maybe she just really likes asphyxiation. You're saying she took her own life? Yeah. By strangling herself? Pretty much. She's kind of. Don't fuck with me. Yeah, she's kind of crazy. Ow. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Am I ever gonna find out? <laughs> Am I ever gonna find out the answer to this? Jesus Christ, man. Oh, okay. So how many answers did I get for this problem so far? All right, let's just look at the global flow chart now. <laughs> I 
Mira's body is discovered inside a pod. Enraged, Eric threatens to shoot unless he's given an answer. Who killed Mira? Number cleared, five out of seven. Over here, we just did this. Triangle, study three-way standoff. Number cleared, seven out of eight. The current casualty count is five, with only one more need for the extra to unlock. Tension crack. Tension crackles as the Q-team ends up in a deadly standoff. Who will attack first? That was a cool one. I like that. I also just did this. Which one is the antidote? I thought that, I thought that was a really cool dilemma too. Which one is the real antidote? I like that a lot. So I think I'm pretty happy with what I've done for today. I've killed more people. <laughs> I've killed more people, which is great. And uh, I figured out that Mira is one crazy ass hoe, <laughs> to say the least. She is genuinely actually insane. Like seriously, she's she's crazy. So, um what else do I feel like doing? Oh yeah. Why don't I update that list of uh <laughs> why don't I update that list of uh kills that I have that I have going on here. Okay, so I just pop this on here and I just go boop. There it is. So let's see what kind of kills that I have. So, um, well, Eric killed me. I killed Eric. Um, Mira. Nothing else. Oh, these guys didn't have anything. Okay, well, now. Was it Q Team that voted to? Yeah, it was Q Team. So I killed four people. Um, uh, what did Junpei do? Oh, Carlos killed himself. So now it's another one. Do we need to count all of Mira's serial killings? Oh yeah, you're 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 right, you're right. Um unknown number of victims. <laughs> Five thousand directly plus six billion indirectly plus unknown number of victims. <laughs> Lovely. And the number of deaths. Well, Carlos offed himself. Eric died horribly. Q also died horribly. Mira, unfortunately, hasn't died. All three of these guys got executed horrendously. And I think that's it. We didn't have anything too crazy this time, like the deaths of six billion people. Akane still hasn't killed anybody. Holy wow, I'm surprised that hasn't happened yet. Anyhow, I think this is a crazy ass game. This is this is so much fun to stream because I'm just being super carefree and unfeeling towards everyone. Honestly, me and Mira kind of have that kind of have that in common because we just literally don't give a fuck about anybody. So <laughs> So, like, we're kind of similar in that regard where it's like, you know, in these kinds of games, we just kill without remorse. Oh my goodness, this is it. So, it looks like we have a lot of this stuff figured out. We have this whole timeline basically sorted out. Um, this whole timeline... I know the one thing that's left on that thing is, uh, if I go to the team selection, the one part that's left is right here which is this because you can see it has that like has like the one two three four five and then it like juts off to the oh. side here you could see that this is right here so and it's also because you can tell that like the stuff that we've seen is both sides of how it ends which is like you know the serial killing or carlos killing himself carlos killing akane and Junpei's head in the pantry somewhere along those lines. God, that is horrible. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go on to D-Team. We're gonna be doing a lot of this stuff. And so next time we are going to start off with the execution of Q-Team. Thank fucking God. Uh, and then we're going to um, move on to D-Team. It's probably gonna be a lot of D-Team like right around here because so far I've already filled this stuff out. I mean, in this case, everyone is dead except for Carlos right around here and here. Or no, actually, Akane is alive here, but Carlos, 
is alive here. So Carlos is the only one that's alive here, and um, yes, yeah, so we're probably going to do like Q team sections or D team sections that involve this timeline. If I had to guess, it's probably going to be like, yeah, there's going to be one like D team thing that like splits the story in like three ways, is it there? Okay, so that's just one. This is... Ah, so this is a... Th so this is a three-way choice. So this is what's going to be split in the timeline down here. It's going to split the timeline three ways, in which case there are three different ways this thing can go. That's crazy. <laughs> and then I'm guessing as time goes on, we're going to... Because, like, what happened is we're now going to figure out, like, what happened to uh, Q, which I'm a little confused. Because, if I remember correctly, I mean, if right here, if this part is right after the section where Mira killed everybody, then that makes me a little confused because I remember uh, Q got stabbed in the chest. Let's hope Diana isn't secretly a psycho. Well, I mean, look, there's, in every one of these games, there's been one person that is secretly, like, really fucked up as a human being. And I guess in this case, it's, uh, it's Mira. In the first game, it was Ace. In the second game, it was Dio. And now in this game, it's Mira. So, that's lovely. We're moving through this game, actually. I, I can only see about four or five more streams until we actually get to the end. And, I mean, I did hear that this game wasn't that big compared to the other Zero Escapes, but honestly, I'm pretty fine with it because, like, I had plans to stream other stuff this, uh, like, these, these upcoming months. And, yeah, honestly, this game doesn't really have too much of a concrete plot. What happens is you pick a fragment, you wake up, shit happens, you make a crazy decision, and then you just fall asleep again. And you just kind of sit and watch what happens. <laughs> like, like, it's super crazy. This whole thing is just absolutely nuts. And I'm I'm loving it so far because, excuse me, because I, I've just been taking my commentary super casually because there's like no concrete plot. It's just live or die, make your choice. It's the dilemma of zero time. God, this game is so stupid. <laughs> It really is so stupid. I don't know why it's- I don't know why it's like this. It's just- it's just absurd to me. It is actually genuinely absurd how this game functions. <laughs> okay, so what I might do next time is I might start out with, um, I might start out with this because we've kind of already seen it twice. Or no, no, I'll, I'll start out with, uh, D-Team. I'll start out with one of the D-Team sections. It'll probably be... I'll probably do like this one. Or no, maybe I'll start, um... Maybe I'll like do this and then... Hop and... Do like this. Or maybe no, maybe then I'll do this. I, I don't know, I'll, I'll figure it out as time goes on, but oh my god, this is just... <laughs> this game is just... <laughs> this game is just so absurd, I love it. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna just hop back into the study just so I can play the cool music while I'm doing the outro. I'm just- I love this game, man. This franchise is so silly. So much. Like, literally, we hear, oh, there's one more that needs to die, so everyone immediately grabs weapons and just gets ready to shoot each other. Like, holy fuck, man, that's messed up. <sighs> okay, well. Yeah, I, I think I think um, I think everything is going pretty well. <laughs> I, I I really can't wait to see what's gonna happen in uh in the next few fragments. This whole timeline is yet to be decided, and honestly, killing Q Team is gonna be a really good way to start out because Q Team is dead in this timeline. So that's gonna be a really good way to start it out. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm excited for that. Honestly, I'm. I'm loving this game. I've said that like four times, honestly, because I'm just really drawing out the outro at this point. So yes, I can't wait to see how many more people die at my hands. And until then, that's going to be it for Zero Time Dilemma. Oh, you're welcome. I'm having a lot of fun streaming it. <laughs> well, later.